Hi, it's Jeff from Marine Beam. Let me show you something that we've been working on that's pretty cool. It's our patented anchor light bulb. And what's unique about it? Well, that's your traditional incandescent bulb. And this is a traditional 360 degree or what we call an all around anchor light. This is very similar to the Aqua Signal or the Hella or Osculetti or any of those um, anchor lights that you see on the market that use the BAY15D offset bulb. Um, I'll go ahead and turn it on here real quick so you can see it. It's a traditional incandescent uh, filament type bulb and we're going to go ahead and pull it out and just show you how easy this is. So that's the BAY double contact indexed meaning the offset pins bulb and what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with the marine beam bulb and what's important here and I want you to keep your eyes out is what this bulb is capable of. So all we've done is we've replaced the existing bulb, put the cover back on here. It's an indexed cover, so it takes me a while to align it. And I'm going to turn it on. And of course, just what you'd expect is a 360 degree anchor light, although it's a lot brighter than the original incandescent bulb. But now what's kind of cool is we're going to turn off the lamp and we're going to turn it back on. And wait a minute, all of a sudden we now have a Cole Reg 72 approved tricolor. And it's best to look at the light here because it's very hard to see the brightness through the uh, when looking directly at the LED. But there's your green sector, 112 and a half degrees. There's your red sector, 112 and a half degrees. And here comes your white sector. And those shadows are just the fluting that's uh, on the bulb or on the fixture itself. But this has been tested already by the Bureau Veritas lab, which is Encieta in France. It's the French Naval Labs. And as a standalone bulb, so forget the fixture, as a standalone bulb, it meets all the requirements for both horizontal angle, horizontal cutoff, and vertical angle, and candela requirement, which is the brightness requirement, as well as the color coordinates. Those are the actual colors have to meet the Coast Guard or the Colreg 72 requirement. And you can see without the fluting of the fixture, and we're not really selling the fixture, we're selling the bulb, you can see how perfect that transition is from red to green. And there's a Coast Guard requirement of how much overlap you can have. And you can see there's zero overlap there. So what we've done is we've taken any old fixture, anchor light fixture or all around fixture, and we've turned it into a tricolor and an anchor light by just replacing the bulb. And there's one more thing. If we turn it off again and we wait oh, about six or seven seconds and turn it back on, we'll activate the SOS Morse sequence, which is an emergency light. And so by just replacing your incandescent with an LED bulb, you've now replaced a $300 stack light with a strobe and you've got the long life of an LED and the very, very low power consumption of an LED. And there's no extra wires or switches. It's your standard two-wire setup. Well, there's one more thing to consider is the orientation of the fixture. Well, if you look real close at our bulb here, you'll see that we've built in a rotary device so that you can align the bulb to your fixture no matter how your socket is aligned inside your fixture. So that's what's new at marinebeam.com. Keep your eye out for this bulb. We'll be debuting it in a short version with a single contact base for the Hella and some of the smaller fixtures. Um, and we'll also have it in the BAY15D base for the taller fixtures with the filament aligned per the filament alignment on the BAY15 bulb that you see there. Stay tuned.